Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today I'm going to give you a tour of the inside of a 30 foot yurt that is completely unfinished. Here we are at the 30 foot yurt. You can see it is a Pacific yurt. This is the French door option. Let's go inside and check it out. So here's the French door and how it works. Comes with two little lock for the one door. It has a nice plate here in the middle to keep it nice and snug. This one opens, this one opens. Have a nice opening there for your French door. We had our swing outward. You can choose to swing it outward or inward. So here it is with nothing built. Uh, we do have things here and there laying around that we have to clean up and finish but you get the idea of what it looks like with nothing built inside of a 30 foot Pacific yurt. We have three windows. All the windows are down right now. They roll up from the outside. They do have these plastic pieces that come with Velcro that you can put on the outside as well for winter time when you don't want to be using the screen because right now it is just a screen within the plastic or the vinyl side cover flipped down and zipped up around it. So that's what that looks like. This is with the snow and wind kit on so if you don't order the snow and wind kit you won't have these. It will just be the lattice wall. I kind of like that we got the snow and wind kit obviously because we get snow here in New York so we needed it but also because we can now have this little area here to build some kind of shelving and use the space in between also when you build walls if you choose to do that you can build right off of the snow and wind kit so it's kind of like you already have a part of your wall frame built so here's what it looks like there's a nice 15 foot top with a dome at the top. Uh, we got the dome opener, which is nice to be able to let out the hot air or the moisture that builds up in here. It, the dome opener comes with this long pole that you attach to the top to the dome and crank it up. It doesn't go up too much, just a couple inches. Uh, you can also get the uh, optional bug screen to go up there, but we figured we could make our own. Let's see. Here is another door. We chose to add two doors. This is just the uh, standard door that you can get either full glass like we got. It's actually plexiglass. None of it's actually real glass. Or you could get just the bottom wood and the top glass or both wood. But since we have such a beautiful wooded view out here, we chose to get the full glass also to let in extra light since we won't be using electric. So this one we had swing in. Again, we got to choose whether we wanted it to swing in or out. This one we chose to swing in in case uh, too much snow is built up on the outside deck here once we build it. And we can't swing it outwards. So one's going in, one's going out. Just in case. It's very nice and open. 
you can build it however you want. It's kind of like your imagination. Here's one of the windows open, rolled up from the outside. So you can see the screen. Kind of blocks a little bit of the view, having the lattice in the way, but it's <laughs> still nice. Again, the year comes with two windows and we chose to add the third window for an extra, I think it was like $300. And there is no actual insulation on the window. This is the insulation right here that we bought with the yurt since we are in cold weather. So we might choose to make some of our own insulation and put it through here because I have a feeling that might get a little windy, a little, a little cold in the winter. We'll see. Winter's coming and we'll be moving in soon and know all the details. So you get the idea of what a 30-foot yurt looks like with nothing built in it. We'll be putting the wood stove over here and you need to cut out a part of the lattice wall as well as through the insulation in the side cover to get the chimney out. It goes through the wall and not through the top. So there you have it. It's a wonderful feeling in the yurt. Nice and round, no corners. Nice and high ceilings. It just feels nice in here. Everyone that's come into the yurt said that it's felt nice and open. And we're going to try to keep the openness feel, even though we will be building a bathroom and possibly a loft in the future. The dome really is amazing it lets in a lot of light like right now we have all the windows closed down and it's still fairly light in here no lights obviously so there we go check our other videos out to see what we decide to do with this 30 foot yurt what we decide to build how we are going to be living in it where our kitchen's gonna go, bathroom and sleeping areas. Possibilities are endless. We're gonna try to keep it so that way we can move things around and not keep too much permanent. So thanks for watching. Check out our other videos of the outside walk around, as well as how we put this year up, how we did this cool burning on the floor and our fire place and wood stove that we'll be petting in soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Peace.